So the name of the game is to earn full global ankle rotation in the context of your kinetic chain. Long story short, folks, the reason why we're getting injuries is because we're losing those full complete ankles that we should be able to manage and navigate out of in respect for a footprint. Typically speaking, people are external biased in their footprint, so they lose a lot of inversion landing sequences and in turn transitions out of that. All injuries are pretty much related to this particular issue, okay? namely Achilles problems, knees problems, hip problems, groin problems, lower back problems, you name it. So we're gonna go after an exercise that would help us repurpose or re-earn some of those angles that we've lost, okay? There's a little advanced. You would wanna layer this in with the other videos that we've shared and use this at the end of that set sequence. Remember, program design and timelines matter huge, okay? So anyway, I'm gonna earn what it is to get full encompassing one leg stability in the context of the layers of posture that we know, shoving the knees out, sitting through the hips, and tucking the pelvis. Last uh, step, we're gonna tuck the shoulder blades down and back. From here, our body's engaged and aligned. Into this head position, I'm gonna earn aggressive angles that I've probably lost, okay? Namely, we usually lose dorsiflexion, that's where the heel's touching at the back of this board. We don't have a lot of problems going into full extension through the ankle joints. As I mentioned before, we typically lose a little bit of internal reversion position, okay? This is usually not a problem. People typically roll their ankles on that inversion position, but we want to explore throughout this board, if you will. While I'm doing this, the majority of the movement is starting from my footprint. So this will really burn out the foot and ankle when done properly, okay? And I'm still mastering some of those subtleties of pelvis and shoulder blade control, okay? What I'm earning at the first step is those I call them linear touch points. As I start to progress this, now what I'll do is I'll take a certain part of the board and I'll keep it flush and uniform to the ground. I usually start with an inversion position, okay, it'll be the easiest of all, okay? I'm rotating on the outside confines of that footprint, still earning those posture points. Maybe I'll do the front of the board, doing the same idea. Maybe I'll do the back of the board, and you can see it can be pretty difficult for some people, including myself, I've had some aggressive Achilles and calf injuries. Okay, and then usually the hardest one is that eversion position. After I've mastered parts of the board kind of staying flush with the ground, now I want to go global and rotate around the whole sequence. Building that landing mechanic or full encompassing control, strength, and mobility around the ankle joint. When my footprint lands, landmarks, and then I need to move it into my next position. Running, jumping, cutting, you name it. Okay. As you can see, this video has been rather long, okay, and usually one rep, if you will, can take upwards of two to three minutes. But you'll find when you step off of this set board, a lot more capabilities, strength, stability, more importantly, mobility of the ankle joint, and that expresses its way up that kinetic chain. Great way to heal injuries.